How did you feel to find a trust to deal and got your first championship? Yeah, it feels good. Um, I can tell you what you can find out. It's pretty cool. So, did you visit back to a first championship? Well, uh, I won a championship in a ball stadium in New Jersey. That counts. I want to introduce you to my partner. I'm Brad Peter. He's Bass Masters. Brian, good to see you, man. I, I just have a question because I noticed I was looking at the season this year. And you seem to get hot right about South Boston. You won the Polar Land Ram third. That was like, you won your first race in the series. And that was like a runner-up and a, then another win. And you ended up with three wins. Tell us about that hot streak from earlier. Well, uh, I don't know, man. Just just started running good every week, going on the front, started the next race, and then fell off the line of the air, and you got cars on the road. Was there something that you felt differently in the race cars? Obviously, you're a young guy, you're still learning a lot. What, what kind of clicked for you at that point? I don't know, I think it just took a couple of races and days, so it's hard. It's pretty different than what I'm used to driving. I came from late models, and I took a lot of a lot lighter, a lot less power, so. Once I got these cars figured out, I just started working. Now obviously you got a pretty successful older brother. People want to ask you about that. What? Does he uh, stay in touch with you, give you advice, thoughts and all that? How does he help you? He helps me out a lot. Um, loves me out with these cars. He's doing pretty good in this series. Helps me out with tracks. I think all these tracks. I'll figure out what I need to do with each race track I get into. I call him up every weekend. He's really great. Now obviously you had a run here yesterday, and uh, so you now must have some advice for uh, Martin for tomorrow's event, because you ran this track yesterday, so what are you going to tell him about the March tomorrow? How do you feel you out there? Well, it's a tough track. I just hold on pretty much. That's how I did yesterday. Um, I know why they call it the March tomorrow now after the race track. Very cool. Well, you got something else for a run? Well, yeah, you know, you, you're a champion, you're 17 years old, now, you have a girlfriend. Um, no. But anyway, from my experience, you got to snap these guys up quick. You know, they'll be walking out there, champion, no. So, um, I don't know if you have raced a cup car, but you certainly know more about cars than I do. What's different between, say, this car and the cup cars? A whole bunch of stuff. Well, the cup cars, I already got the car tomorrow. I really just totally left it behind. But, uh, they got different tires. Cup cars got more power than these cars. Not more power. Different tires. They drive a lot different. So, totally different. So, I understand, you know, 17, and you got a preferred method of sleeping. Um, explain the sleeping in the chair, because I can't seem to pull that off. Yeah, I sleep a lot. <laughs> you're, you're a big sleeper? Oh, my mic works. That's pretty awesome. You're a big sleeper. So, racing, sleep, then what? Nothing else. Uh, 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 now, a lot of race car drivers are, are superstitious. Uh, the color green is not really acceptable for a lot of them. Bananas are frightening. Do you have any no peanuts? No peanuts? No peanuts? No peanuts? No Do you have any superstitions? Not really. Probably a green race car. I don't think I've ever done one of them. That's, that's typical. Typical. Now, you grew up obviously in a racing family. Racing. Do you have a, a hero that you in racing you've met or one you've actually got to race against? Actually, I got to met Bobby Allison last night over at the track side, so it was really pretty cool. Um, I raced Kyle Bush and I was cool racing and falling around the track. It was pretty amazing what he can do. Now, just talk about your future. Obviously, you come into this series. I think you raced one race in the series last year, and then you came in this year and you come out and won a championship. So what is next on the, the agenda for you uh, in 2010? Right, yeah, because you'll be 18 next year and then you can raise the nation. I noticed also that you had a little, uh, when you guys got to Iowa, you had a little Kyle Bush in the race there with you. What was it like racing with Kyle out there at Iowa? Now, talk about yesterday. 
Thanks for winning. You're looking at a championship. You know you're basically racing to win McDonald to try to win a championship. So did you run yesterday's race a little bit different from how, how you run a, a normal race in series? Now obviously you race for Michael Walsh of racing and he's He's got a character, I think it's fair to say, big personality. So what can you tell us about Michael? And he's your owner, what do you like racing for Michael? Yeah. He's pretty cool. He's really obviously one of my He's pretty good. Congratulations. We really have one 